up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to the family my name is Kavya and today I am back with a spring makeup tutorial I feel like I've been seeing so much inspo on like TikTok and Instagram recently and it's not like a trend yet like y'all haven't named it something goofy yet like we're not on strawberry glaze makeup blueberry muffin makeup right now but I've been seeing like a very similar makeup look all over the internet it looks a little bit like this. I wanted to do a version that would look good on me and that was easy and used a very minimal amount of products because y'all know me, I'm a simple girl, okay? I don't like to do too much. I also have a little announcement at the end of this video, so make sure that you watch all the way through. Let's get into it. Today's blowout like came out good. Don't y'all think? Like, look at this. Let's get the hair out of the way. I want this to look cute because I'm on YouTube, but... Let's start out with this base. This is the Cherry Blossom Jelly Cream. As usual, all the products that I'm gonna be using today will be linked below with the shade name, all the information that you need. You guys, when I first started YouTube, I was so bad at linking stuff because I used to think it was really disgenuine of influencers and creators to like, put their affiliate links below. But you know, over time, as I have received so many products and been able to try out so much stuff, I feel like I really am a good person to go to for product recommendations because honestly, I'm really picky. I consider myself a difficult face, a difficult skin type, difficult complexion. So when I find stuff that works, I just wanna like scream it out over the rooftop. If you do shop through my links, like obviously I appreciate that and that makes me really, really happy. But genuinely, the reason I do what I do is because I want y'all to feel pretty and I want y'all to have the best products on the market my skin is looking really glowy as you can see I already have lashes on these are the kiss no bless lashes I cut about three quarters of the ends off and then I kind of like play with them to make them fit my eye shape a little bit better okay the sun is out so I'm gonna put on a little bit of sunscreen as well I've been so much happier ever since the flowers started blooming and stuff I actually love a good gloomy day what I can't do though is the cold I actually prefer very cold temperatures because you dress accordingly but here in North Carolina when it's just like 30 degrees outside I'm not gonna wear like 10 layers and walk outside I'm always underdressed and that's why I freeze here when it's cold but when I was in Sweden and Alaska I was chilling because I had the right clothes on I'm gonna do a really glowy look today kind of similar to my Coachella looks and the key to doing that is spraying your face like in between every single step this is the Dalba first spray serum but any really hydrating mist will work And honestly, bring it down into your chest and your neck. I feel like it's been a minute since I sat down and talked to y'all. I can sit here and do my makeup all day and show y'all all my favorite products, but genuinely, I love just getting to talk to you. We're just sitting here vibing like this is really my element. Just thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. We recently hit 200K on YouTube. Insane to think about. I wanted to bake a cake and do a really big thank you when I hit 100K. That was around the same time that I left LA and I just like did not get to really celebrate that milestone. I don't do all of this for the numbers but honestly I have put a lot of work in and I have connected with so many of you guys online and in real life so I just want to do something special for you guys because you always support me okay so we just did a really sheer layer of my favorite foundation I had to mix a couple shades because I think I tanned a little bit at Coachella today I kind of want to beat my face a little extra okay recently I copped so much stuff from hourglass if you guys know anything about hourglass it's like it definitely looks like you're wearing makeup it's not like cakey or anything but hourglass is definitely like it makes your face look better it makes your face look brighter and more airbrush it's giving like kim k baddie makeup okay so what we're gonna do is brighten up some areas of my face i'm using the hourglass vanish concealer this is in the shade dune people always ask me my shade you actually don't need a ton of this a little bit goes a long way i love harping on the fact that i've been using the same amazon brush set since i was in like middle school but the hourglass brushes actually do make a difference. So I hate to say it, but they are 100,000% worth the money. But look at how seamlessly this disperses the product, but I'm not like losing any. So the difference between using this brush and my damp beauty blender, which is usually my go-to, is this brush is diffusing and placing the product a lot more evenly i'm not losing too much product and it's giving me more of like an airbrushed barbie doll type of look i look like a real life filter but then when you use like a damp beauty blender or something like that it's gonna pick up a lot of the product to give you more of like that natural dewy kind of look i want to go shoot some pictures after this so i want this to be a little bit more heavy like you guys can see it's just so brightening it makes me look like an instagram filter for real 
Okay, another tip with my application, you guys can see I'm kind of dragging my face upwards like this. You have to pay attention to your face shape because I feel like sometimes this can make your face look a little bit wider. Me, for instance, like I have really strong features and like sharp. Yeah, just pay attention to your face shape. I really like the lifted cat eye effect. So I have a super warm toned face. Like I think my undertone is literally neon yellow. I don't like cool toned contours. My favorite contour stick is from Rare Beauty because it is a lot more of a warm tone. I used to use the shade full of life but today I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer this one is from RMS Beauty this brand does not even sponsor me okay they have sent me a few packages recently every single PR package that they've sent me something in there is becoming like one of my top used products just all cards on the table I'm not gonna lie to you I do receive a lot of PR okay when I actually use products that I receive in PR it's because I really really like them and I really think they're good products like I just have to reiterate that it's gonna warm up my face a little I saw this video on TikTok that said don't apply your bronzer like a line in your face and then the girl basically took two fingers and she showed like this portion of her face and you just kind of like contour your temples and it actually does make a really big difference with lifting the face time for the best part of any spring makeup look we're gonna do the blush and the lips i have been using these products in my tiktoks and my videos for a while now and i haven't like formally talked about them yet i'm obsessed i'm addicted i don't leave the house without them i literally keep one on a keychain these are the Fuii Pudding Pots. As you can see, I have 10,000 shades of them. I'm gonna use the shade Cherry today. This is definitely one of the most innovative beauty products I've tried in 2024, you guys. Fuii's Blurry Pudding Pots are these multitasking wonders that blur, beautify, and bring out your best features. I've never seen a product with this texture and finish. It somehow naturally fills in the wrinkles in my lips. It creates this perfect overlined look that's so seamless, you'll forget you're wearing anything at all. It's like your lips, but buttery, blended, and better. These pudding pots are so versatile. I love using them as blush, eyeshadow, or just anywhere on my face for a flirty, fresh look that's perfect for this season. The secret is in the blurring pudding formula. It's fluffy, it's moisturizing, and it fills and smooths any lines or pores instantly. It has such a unique texture, I would describe it as a souffle or a mini cloud. You can see what a buttery finish it has. It just melts into my skin and blends out like an absolute dream. The all know how hard it can be to find shades that work with my skin tone i was amazed by the shade range here these blurry pudding pots come in over 30 colors these pudding pots are inclusive innovative and truly a holy grail you have to try these out trust me i'll have all the details for you below it just made my look so pretty you guys do not sleep on this. Do not sleep on this. I think cherry is my favorite shade right now, but it honestly changes every day. So I line my lips a little bit with Club Hopper just to give it more definition. So we're gonna hydrate the face a little bit. This is the Charlotte's Magic Hydrator Mist. So I'm taking this ambient lighting blush. This is the shade at night, and I'm just gonna emphasize the blush on my nose a little bit. I love like a little bit more bronze on the nose just for that sun-kissed, sunburnt feeling because girl, I can't get sunburnt, so we just have to pretend. This is our completed looking glowy, just pretty girl in late spring vibes. I love a good monochromatic look, like using the same product on the lips, the cheeks, the eyes. It just makes you look really elegant and put together. This video had some gems. I'm obsessed with all the products. Again, I will have everything linked for y'all below. Comment down below the makeup look you wanna see from me next. And don't forget to follow Kabi Kiwi on Instagram so that you can get all the details on my 200K giveaway. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you next time.